Hello, Internet Ians. My name is Joshua K.O. Twitter, your coach of the New York Metagross. Welcome back to P4G week number seven. I'm 3 3. Uh, we're going against Moxie Boosty, coach of the Chicago Black, Flag, Black Flame Flock, who is 0 and 6. And I'm two weeks late on this battle because my computer died and I couldn't get it fixed for like forever. But anyway, we're here and I'm really behind and I got a million videos to record. So let's just get into it. If you do not remember our team, our team is going to be a, 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 a. I put up a team builder two weeks ago, but it's going to be a Assault Vest Domain team, which is Max Bedev, basically. A physically defensive Rocky Helmet Mudsdale with Stalls Lock, Heavy Slam, EQ, and Rock Slide. A Assault Vest Registeel, a Choice Scarf Lele, a Extra Bell High Dragon, and I believe a Psychic Seed Tornadus. Which is Spadef, which is really good. And as you can see, he brought the Mega Charizard Y, the Heatran, the Nihon Lego, the Hitmon Top, the Slurpuff, and the Tapu Bulu. Really, 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 really scared of stuff like the Slurpuff, Bella jumping up and beating me. However, let's get into the battle because I'm, again, really short on time. I gotta be doing videos to record and I gotta post this and. Whoo! Anyway, I'm gonna lead off with my Darvain at 10. As he's gonna lead off with Heatran. Like I said, my computer has been dead for two weeks, so I got a lot of recording to do. But I will explain more after this battle. He's going to lead off with the Mega Charizard Y, predicting me to be Scarf. He is not going to stay in, because Rock Slide will Oko him, and he is going to go hard out into his Heat Train, which is a good play, just due to the fact that... Uh, just due to the fact that, you know, he can take Rock Slide fairly well and get up his Rock, because this is going to be his Rocker, because I don't think the Helego will be. However, I am Assault Vest, so I can switch up my moves. I'm going to go for Earthquake. And he's going to pop his Sugar Berry. However, I'm barely going to miss out on the KO. It happens. It's not too bad. He's going to go for rocks here. Rocks is really annoying, so going to prioritize getting rid of this. Here, I really was sure he was going to go into top of Bulu. So, I really wanted to click Fire Punch. However, I did not think it was worth it, because one, I could click it on the following turn, or two, I could go out to Registeel. And, uh, it's still just gained momentum. The fact that I've weakened Heatran, the fact that I've scared out Zard and it's not Mega Evolved, and it, all kinds of stuff. I'm in a good place, and I don't really need to predict. So, I'm going to just go for Earthquake, and it's going to do absolutely no type of damage. And as much as I want to stay in and click U-turn or Fire Punch, seeing if he's Scarf, uh, it's a bad idea because Stone Edge will destroy me and I need this for Zard. So I'm going to go hard out into my Ready Steel because even if I take some chip damage on this, I'm perfectly fine versus Nihil Lego. It's still not going to do anything. He's going to switch out, fearing a Fire type move, into Kapora, the Hitmon top, which is very bad for me because Pokemon is going to do a lot and I, want do I don't want to take that much damage for uh, what's going to end up being very little damage versus this. Come on, so I'm going to switch out. Uh, he's actually going to switch out too. I believe he's going to go into his Tran. Yep. And uh, I can't believe I remember any of this because I haven't seen this battle in two weeks. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to switch out into... Uh, oh, I'll go into my Mudsdale. Oh, uh, that's weird. I thought I went to my Lele. Anyway, here I'm going to go out into, I believe, my... Hmm. Here I go out into... There's a lot of switching in the beginning. I believe I go into Darmanitan. Uh, so I'm gonna switch out, and I'm gonna go out into uh, Hydreigon actually, which is fine. Uh, not really, but hey. So I calc Focus Blast and I calc Dragon Pulse and I calc everything, and uh, I don't take it because I'm kind of offensive for once. So anyway, I'm gonna go hard into my uh, Darmanitan. Even if it goes to Fire Blast, I am Eevee to live to Fire Blast from a Mega Charizard Y after Stealth Rocks. So I'm not scared. But anyway, he is going to Mega Evolve. He is going to become that terrifying Mega Charizard Y and pull out the Drought. And you're going to see that he is going to end up going for the Dragon Pulse. Which is perfectly fine. I'm going to eat this up because, like I said, I am Max Medef Assault Vest. Yeah, it does nothing. Well, it doesn't lock into a Max Medef Assault Vest. But anyway, the Grassy Chain is going to go away. And here, I believe I'm just going to go for Rock Slide. He's going to go for Ancient Power knowing that I am not faster than him. And this is going to do, again... Uh, pretty negligible damage. So, Rock Slide's gonna come off, and uh, we're gonna kill this Mega Charizard Y, which is great, because that was very threatening to my team. However, now he is going to go out into his Hitmon Top, and he's gonna get Intimidate off, and I believe the Sun is still out, and I might just go for Fire Punch because the Sun is still out, and uh, he goes for Mach Punch, actually. I, yeah, I did go for. Oh, yeah, I live. Hey, that's lit! I go for Fire Punch here because Sun Boosting is going to do a lot. Sheer Force Booster too. He's going to go for Mach Punch and he's going to finish me off. Which is more than fine because his Heat Train is weakened and he has absolutely no switch in to Top of Lele. So I'm going to go out into my Scarf Top of Lele. I'm going to pop the Psychic Surge. He can't Mach Punch me. He can't Bubble Punch me. He can't Sucker Punch me. And he is definitely, if he has choice, he's saying, uh, going to, um, if he's choice, he can't do anything. So anyway, I'm going to go hard for, I believe, the Psy Shock. 
I'm not sure. I believe I go for Slash Shock because Nihil Lego. And also it's the best. Oh, I go for Psychic because I'm just. Yeah, it's gonna kill Nihil Lego anyway. So I'm gonna go for Psychic again. It's gonna do uh, that much to Top Bulu. And unfortunately, I get a Spadef Drop, which turns what could have been a roll into not a roll. Which is. It's unfortunate. However, it was still a roll greatly in my favor. So. And I could have easily just switched Psychic again, probably kill that. However, he's gonna switch out into his Radiator. And uh, that's going to be the treat, hand tree, Heatran, and this is Top of Lele, and that's gone. So Top of Lele picks up, picks up its first kill of the season. Shout out to me for being awesome with Top of Lele. But Top of Lele is going to pick up its first kill of the season. Get some uh, HP back, all the way back up to full with the graphic terrain. However, he is going to go out into his Slurpuff, and this is really, really bad, guys. This is extremely, extremely bad. This thing is a threat to my team. Very much so. So basically, uh, I know I don't kill a Psychic because I'm Trace Guard for Nitro Specs. I know this thing can easily eat one up. I know Belly Jump 6 0s me. Legitimately. It can 6 0 me right here. So I Calc, I know my Mudsdale lives. Uh, however, I'm not going to risk the fact that he can live Heavy Slam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in and click Psychic. Uh, this is my only play, really. I have to weaken this thing. It's going to do a butt ton of damage. And it's going to pop his berry. And, uh, he didn't get to that much health, and he is, in fact, going to go for that Belly Drum. Which is really bad, because I don't have any priority on this team. And I have no scar for that out to beat this. But, you can see that he's going to live with just the tiniest bit of damage. Uh, there is no way in hell he goes for Drain Punch here. Even if he does, I'm pretty sure Rocky Helmet from Mudsdale will trigger first. But there is no way he goes for, um... Drain Punch here. I am a top of Lele, and I will eat plus six Drain Punch for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I believe it does, like, 30? So, I know he's going for Play Rough. My play is going to Mudsdale. It's going to suck to not have Mudsdale anymore, but it's perfectly fine. This is, its main job is geared to this thing. I'm okay with being a little bit weaker to top of Lele. I still have a very healthy Assault Fest, uh, Reggie Steel. So, he can go for Play Rough, like I said. He's going to get a crit, which, uh, it was a roll to kill me. However, I'm okay with that. Like, it's not too bad. In fact, like, it's better for me, to be honest. Anyway, I'm gonna go out to my red steel. It is, uh, it beats two out of the three mods he can go out to. And if he goes out into this, uh, I will go hard out into my top of Lele. And if he goes for Iron Head or something, I know he has some kind of move to hit me. Poison Jab, I think. If he goes for Poison Jab, good on him. However, top of Lele is just a really good play here. And as you're going to see, he is going to go for the... Woo! He's going to go for the Endeavor. Which didn't make a lot of sense. However, what I see next does make uh, more sense. Oh, not see next. We'll see later. Anyway, I'm going to go for Psychic because it picks up a kill. Almost guaranteed. Uh, so Psychic's going to come out. And I believe this Bulu is just going to drop to the Psychic. Do we see a drop to the Psychic? We see a drop. We don't see a drop to the second. He lives on one. So that's the death drop. Kind of eh, annoying earlier, but not really too bad because I can just go for psychic and top of is going to pick up its second kill of the season. So really nice there. However, uh, unfortunately for me, I mean the Lego can come out. Kind of unfortunate. Like I still have Red Steel, which will eat two specs, hidden power, fire, crits. <laughs> After rocks. So, uh, I'm gonna go to Red Steel. He's gonna double out to his hit my top, which, in, in all fairness, is a good play. Uh, not really too uh, important, because Red Steel does come out. However, like, okay, not really too concerned about that. I have plenty of melons. I can even go out to uh, Tapalele here. Or, not Tapalele. I can go out to Tornadoes if I want. However, I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to make the offensive play, I'm going to go right back up to my top of Lele, and I am going to take rocks, and I believe I am going to, I'm going to put up my second train, I'm going to take a close combat. Uh, yep. So I'm going to take this close combat, it's going to do, eh, whatever. It does that much, basically nothing. However, uh, this is psychic, and this is free, and something hits the ground, he only has two months left. I'm actually going to go for Psy Shock because it's the better play at this point. Uh, and he revealed the pay off a berry. So that's kind of where Endeavor comes in. The plan was take a side shock, uh, take a, any psychic move, go for the Endeavor and weaken my top of Lele, which is a really smart idea on his part, part. So shout out to him. 
However, Tapu Lele picks up a third kill. He goes to Nihilego. And to preserve differential, because differential is going to be end up being very important. In my opinion, there's going to be a huge cluster right in the middle. I'm going to go to my Registeel, and he's going to go for Power Gem. Even if he crits a million times, he's not, like... Even if I go for Rock Slide and miss every single one, he's he's not going to kill my Power Gem. Like, it, it does literally 15 damage. It does literally 9. 9% damage. Anyway, I'm going to go for the EQ here, and uh, EQ is going to pick off this Nihilego, and that is going to be a 4-0 win for the New York Metagross, putting us at 4-3. and Now let's talk about some things. I don't know if I posted on Twitter that I had uh, computer issues. Basically what happened was uh, my battery was kind of eh for a while, but due to the fact that I could keep it charged, it wasn't really important. Basically, uh, it was not able to support itself as well as it could. Basically, if I unplugged the laptop, it would only last for like 45 minutes to an hour, which is fine. It was fine. That's all I needed. However, uh, the power jack died, so I had to get both of those replaced, which cost me $200. Oh my god. But yeah, <laughs> so that's not fun. Uh, sorry, I was getting distracted with something going on in the background. I don't even know if that could be heard. That was outside. However, uh, so let's talk. Uh, I'm going to be... There was no fancy things on this uh, video. I don't have my graphics. Let me fix something. So I don't have my graphics. Which uh, kind of sucks. But like I said, I don't have a lot of time right now. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing IBL graphics either. I have to get that video recorded and sent to me, I believe. Uh, uh, I'm not going to be doing a team builder for this week of the P4G. Maybe. I Actually, I might. It's going to be late, though. P4G is definitely going to be late. Uh, I will. I have to con contact Kelly and Lynx and tell them that it's going to be late just due to the scheduling. It might not be late. It just depends on how much I can get recorded and put out. Uh, however, the uh, week after this, uh, my week 8 game, because I'm 4-3 and three now, so week 8 we were matched up against Carson Toxic Gaming, coach of the Chicago Bewares. He's a PPL coach, and I was really scared of that match. I don't believe I ever finished the team. However, he did drop from the league, so we are going to get a 3-0 forfeit win for that. I think I just heard a cat. Uh, we are going to get a 3-0 forfeit. I can see my ruby pillow. <laughs> we are going to get a 3-0 forfeit win uh, for that. So we're going to move to 5-3, and three, and I believe we're going to be number 6 in the league. So that's really good. Playoffs are in sight, which is really good considering we started 1-3, which is really bad. So we are really coming back with a four-game win streak, and that's going to be really nice. We have three more games of the regular season, I believe. Uh, I believe our games are going to be against the Do For To Watch, uh, Do For To Watch and Coach Leaf Light X, which is going to be coming out in a few days. It's supposed to go tomorrow, but eh, whoops. Uh, we also have to face off against Max Rapture, coach of the Tasmanian Toxic Rooks. And then we have to face off against Jacob, as always, coach of the Green Bay P uh, Pikachus. So, those are our last three games. That's how P4G is doing. Uh... IBL should be coming out tomorrow. I'm going to go work on that now. I'm really happy that my uh, webcam is performing as well as it is right now. Like, I'm really liking the way it looks. However, probably not 1080p because, of course, it's not 1080p. Uh, while I was at the computer place, by the way, I also looked into uh, maybe a processor. So I might be getting a processor. I might have a new processor, like an, uh, an outside processor to have on my desk. And that might help me uh, start doing 1080p stuff. So that's really nice. But with that... I believe that's everything I want to say. Video should be coming out soon. The reason why NLP came out yesterday instead of this was because I had just gotten it back and I was getting off work and sleep and all kinds of stuff and it was just a lot of hecticness and I had that video already recorded and because it's MLP I wasn't editing it so I just threw it out there so something was there. Something like, hey, I'm back. But that's what's going on. Uh, I hope you guys like that intro too. <laughs> that's super fast. We gotta get shit done intro. But yes, I'm back. I'm not dead. My computer was, but it's alive. Uh, I'm having a keyboard problem, but that's just... I think that's something I can fix. I just have to get around to it. Anyway, uh, that's that. That is awesome. And I will see you guys. I don't know if my LBL will be up tomorrow. Hopefully it will be. Uh, but it should not have the graphics, so unfortunate. But thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. And uh, go New York Metagross. Peace.